my sister left and the people that my sister took in, they vouched for me. A week before the war, I got my visa to England. I left to Holland, Hook of Holland, from Holland, Hook of Holland. I took the ferry over to England. And I stayed for, uh, uh, for a few days with the people that took in my sister. And he already had arranged a, uh, a job for me. And the job was with, uh, with a shipyard called Wolf Shipyard. They're famous, they, they, made the, uh, they built the Titanic. And I came there, he had arranged, uh, he had his friends there, he knew a couple of friends, he used to go to a pub in Davin. Anyways, a job was arranged and I, uh, two days later, that's all, two days he, I had free time. The second day I went to work and I reported there and uh, they sent me, I reported to the union office and uh, then they sent me to, the, to a workshop uh, I did. I helped out a few things. Uh, the next day I come home. The next day I w went back to work, and uh, a messenger comes from the office. They want to see me in the union office. I come to the union. I figured, you know, they want to finish off my papers or whatever. And he says to me, really, he says, you're a nice guy, but you can't work here. I says. What's the matter? He says, we don't let alien people work in this shipyard. You are Polish, uh, you're an alien. You're a friendly alien, but you cannot work here. So I went home and I told Barney what happened. He laughed, he says, don't worry. Gets on the phone, spoke to a few people. He says, go up, there is this firm they're looking for a guy because there was people, there was conscription. So a lot of people went in the army that already was, you know, the war already was on. And a lot of people, a lot of young guys went to the army, so there was a lot of openings. So I went and this was a, this was a, a, a they were servicing refrigerators, you know, like butcher refrigerators and so forth. And uh, I worked there for uh, till 19, 1941. I became very friendly with the rabbi in Belfast, and I hung out with his son. And every Shabbos, I was spent Shabbos by the rabbi. And uh, uh, and then in 1941, I go to synagogue, and all the young guys eventually disappeared. They all were called up, and. I says to myself, well, perhaps uh, I should join the army too. <laughs>